man, in today's daytime and hour, social media provides a lot of case studies. Uh, and oftentimes that's what I, I respond to, I react to, and I make content off based upon people putting forth the evidence of foolishness. And today, I'm gonna tell you, man, that the average woman, you know, and this case study is well over 100 women, but your average woman is completely lost in the sauce. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm going to put a video link down in the description and you guys need to check it out. Oftentimes people don't understand how I can come from a biblical standpoint and, and, and present, uh, you know, case studies, modern day footage of the lawlessness of men and women. And this is a case study of no good women and no good men. Man, in Atlanta, there is a man, a black man, you know, women would call him a dreadhead, a good looking dreadhead. That's what women would call him. Who has been homeless for four years couch surfing ain't no telling what he's had to do to try to keep a roof over his head and this man pretty much put on a post you know on a rental room website or an app that he was looking for a place to lay his head uh, until he got his stuff together and this man uses the tactic that women often use in a profile pic to lure women in and in Atlanta over a hundred women commented on his request saying you can move in I got food the Wi-Fi is jumping you know you can move in I'll feed you you ain't got to pay no bills I got Wi-Fi over a hundred women chimed in so you would ask yourself okay do these women have a, a, a generally good heart truly have a good heart or are they just void of wisdom and this is why I say your average woman is lost in the sauce and keep in mind only a remnant will be saved when the preacher looked amongst a thousand he only found one righteous man out of that thousand he didn't find no women okay when you look at Sodom and Gomorrah getting destroyed, Lot was given a message to give to his immediate family, but Lot was the only one that made it out. His wife looked back at her former life and was turned into a pillar of salt because of it. Man, a wicked woman is given to a portion as a wicked man, and the godly woman is given to him that fears the most high. Now, out of these hundred women that are willing to take in a four-year homeless man, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Keep it real. What makes this homeless man any different than the homeless man on the corner? Let's start there, okay? Because we this is a good case study of a man who has done nothing with himself, a young man, and women are willing to entertain this man. The word says a man that does not work does not eat. These women was in the comments calling themselves Christians, talking about, yeah, you can come over here and eat and you ain't got to pay no bills. Wait a minute. Are these women truly showing forth a good heart or are they just void of wisdom, okay? Ebony K. Williams, 
said she'd rather be a single mother by choice than to settle for a man that drives a bus, a city bus, a school bus, okay? How many of these women got the same kind of mindset like Ebony K. Williams that they're not gonna settle in, but behind the scenes will settle for a four-year hobo that can't hold down no job, can't even provide for himself, cannot produce good fruit. This is oftentimes when these, uh, you know, if some of the women that I get in my comments with their foolishness and their replies and responses, if I could truly uh, have a one-on-one -on -one with them, I'd laugh in their face because you're truly experiencing over a hundred women that are pretty much following the lust of their flesh after this man, but they want you to think that they got women. How many of these hundred women are single mothers? How many of these hundred women, over a hundred women, are college educated? And I told you, education cannot save a foolish woman. You know, you gotta think, these women, all hundred women, were inviting, willing to invite this man into their house, not knowing if he got a criminal record. This man told you he don't have no job. This man told you I'm a model and I'm a, and I am a, I got a clothing line. But the clothing line might not, must not be successful if you can't put a roof over your own head. Man, women are looking for a man that they can control. Oh, and it's an added bonus when he's good looking. Listen to me. The average woman does not want a good man. And shout out to all of the daughters of Zion that don't move like this because you're truly rare. You're the glory of your man's eyes. Shout out to all the righteous set apart commandment keeping sisters. I'm not talking about you. This video is not for you, but you can chime in, okay? This man could move into your house and if you got kids, if you're a single mother, end up touching on your kids, you know, uh, end up potentially uh, forcing himself onto you. And keep in mind, we're talking about Atlanta, a city that women are constantly telling other women to move to, and then six months later, telling women here, it ain't no good men here. But wait a minute. Okay, let's, 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 let's get concrete. So the guy working at Walmart, he ain't no damn good. The guy working at Lowe's, the men on the interstate driving, the guy fixing the roads on the city streets that's got a roof over his head can provide and ain't putting out no request for charity. These are the men that you say ain't no damn good, that you won't settle for, but yet over a hundred women were, were willing to entertain this vagabond, this nomad, and you got, man, I'm telling you, I cannot make this stuff up. Now, women want a good looking man that they can control, and I want you to be able to see uh, through the eyes of a woman, okay? Let me remove this. When you look through the lens of the modern woman and how she sees things, this is why modern women do the opposite of what the word says. This is why they externally adorn themselves with all this vanity. Women see uh, flesh deep, that's it. They don't look uh, and spiritually discern unless they are born again. And none of these hundred women, I can guarantee you, are born again. Are born again, had their mind renewed, but guess what? You're tuned in and I'm probably a member at somebody's church and a woman is looking, you know, flesh deep at a man like this. And what is they attracted to? They are attracted to the lust of the flesh. You know how many women saw this, this man that cannot provide a roof over his head, can't provide a roof over their head, can't put nothing on their bills. How many women got juicy? in they draws for a man like this. This is why a lot of this content, social media has this good and it's serving as some great case studies because women will get with 
uh, men like this and say he had potential. And I'm, I'm constantly telling people, everybody out here has the potential to be saved. It's are you willing to do what the Most High Yah commanded us to do in order to live like we were saved? You know, everybody has potential to be good, but you're dealing with a man that has produced no fruit. And the only uh, snare that he can set is for foolish uh, and, and very vain women to want to take this man in. This man will eat up. All now, here's another thing. This is why women like men like this. Women like men like this because that's a man that don't have a leg to tell them nothing. When they want uh, sex from this man, they can get it because, hey, he ain't paying no bit. He ain't, he don't have a leg to stand on. When they don't want sex from him, they can dispose him, say he ain't no good, make roast videos about him, you know? When they, when they tell this man, hey, we want you to do X, Y, and Z, him not having a leg to stand on, him not being worth his weight, they can control and manipulate him very easy. And you gotta think, uh, women will post a sorry, no good man like this, and other women will get jealous looking at the caliber of man from a vanity perspective. Dang, how she get that fine man? Ooh, he fine. Ooh, I want a man like this. But behind the scenes, you're not realizing that these men is homeless, don't have no doggone job. We're, we're talking about a city of Atlanta with the highest STD rate. We know what women do in order to pay the bills for selling their bodies, OnlyFans, all of that. Ain't no telling what this man has had to do uh, in order to try to keep a roof over his head. This man say, I don't wanna sleep in shelters. So he, he used his sex appeal. And who comes? Daughters of Zion, by the hundreds, by the masses, to get this man a, a place to stay. And the comments prove everything I'm saying. They don't want this man to pay no bills. They didn't have no expectation for him to, uh, uh, to, to get a job. You know, one woman says the Wi-Fi is jumping. So you're going to let up and sit this man let up and let this man sit up in your house and play Xbox all day. I'm telling you, man, a lot of these women are void of wisdom. And the book says, and all you're getting, and all you're getting in this world, in this lifetime, man, make sure you get an understanding. And all you're getting, get an understanding. Man, all praise to the Most High, y'all, for these very, uh, very informative case studies that lets you know we are in the last days. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.